Look, listen, and feel for air movement. When simple arousal doesn't improve respiration, then you must open the airway yourself. The following maneuvers assume no cervical spine injuries. If cervical spine precautions are needed, use draw thrust only and maintain a stable head and neck position. With the head in a relaxed and flexed position, the tongue and soft tissues tend to collapse over the larynx and cause obstruction. The oral, pharyngeal, and laryngeal axes are not aligned. A child younger than two has a relatively large occiput. Placing a folded towel under the shoulders in this age group aligns the pharyngeal and laryngeal axes. In a child older than two, placing the towel under the head, as in the adult, is usually more effective. Tilt the head back. Pull the angles of the jaw upward. This puts tension on the base of the tongue and soft tissues and lifts the epiglottis off the trachea. Further thrust of the jaw opens the mouth fully and opens the airway. There are several ways to open the airway of a patient who is breathing spontaneously. Most common is the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Tilt the head backward, place your fingertips under the rim of the mandible, and lift upward, keeping pressure on the bones, not the soft tissue. Pressing on the soft tissue potentially obstructs the airway, especially in small children. The heel of your hand applies counter pressure against the side of the face. To use the jaw thrust maneuver, grip the angles of the mandible with both hands and pull upward. This frequently pulls the head into extension. Pressing on the bone one to two centimeters above the angle of the jaw and below the ear is painful and may help rouse a sedated patient enough to breathe on their own. If you're using cervical precautions because of potential cervical spine injury, pull upward only on the jaw, keeping the head and neck stable. The triple airway maneuver combines the previous techniques. Tilt the head into extension and lift the angles of the jaw. Use your thumbs to pull the mouth open. Extreme extension or flexion of the child's neck can obstruct the airway. In fact, pressing on the soft tissue under the chin can also obstruct the airway. To avoid this, keep the head in a more neutral, slightly extended position, and keep your fingertip pressure on the bony mandible when opening the airway, not the soft tissue under the chin.